another science short. Let's hear from Montana Natural History Center's very own Batgirl, Stephanie. She's going to tell us some really cool things about how bats fly. Today we are going to talk about a special adaptation in bats. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. And in order to do so, they need specially structured wings that help them to be amazing aeronauts. Picture with me what it would be like to be a bat. Take your hand and extend your arm all the way out to the side. Point your thumb up to the air and point your fingers down to the ground. Now imagine that your fingers go all the way down, extending to the ground, and the bones are really strong but flexible. And imagine that you have a tiny little thumb on the top to cling onto cave walls. Now imagine that there's a really stretchy membrane that goes between your fingers and all the way down to your heel. Now flap your wings and pretend to be a bat. With all of those bones in there, bats' wings are really flexible and adaptable which is really good for them if they're trying to change course mid-flight to catch a moth. Another part of the wing that helps bats fly in the night is that stretchy piece of skin called the patagium. The patagium is stretchy enough that it doesn't break when objects fly into it, but it's strong enough that it can keep the bats in flight. That's important because that way if a bat runs into an insect or another object while it's flying, their wings don't get holes in them. And in fact, some bats use that to their advantage by catching insects in their wings and then scooping them into their mouths to eat them while they're in flight. Another adaptation that helps bats fly is that they sleep upside down. It takes less energy to fall than it does to take off off the ground. So bats sleep so they can release and take off flying to go hunting at night. But imagine if you tried to sleep upside down you would probably wake up on the floor with a headache. That doesn't happen to bats though. That's because of two special structures that work the opposite in bats of how they work in humans. The first is the valves inside of their blood vessels. In humans, we have valves that point up so that blood doesn't rush down into our legs. Bats valves point the other direction so that blood doesn't rush down into their heads. Bats also have tendons in their feet that work the opposite of how they do in our hands. If you don't put energy into your hands, they stay open. If bats don't put energy into their feet, their tendons make them stay closed. That way, if a bat's sleeping, it will not fall off. Isn't that fantastic? Bats are like mammals in so many ways. They have warm blood, they give live birth, they feed their babies milk, but they have some special adaptations to the structure of their hands and feet that allow them to fly.